Asia, the world's largest and most populous region. Its growing cities are churning out increasing quantities of waste, and processing that waste is becoming increasingly difficult. This poses big challenges in several areas. On an economic level, local governments are paying more for landfills as space becomes harder to find and also spending a lot on transporting waste. The waste also creates environmental problems. Not all of it is collected, and some waste is left untreated and disposed of on public land or in water. This causes pollution and poses health risk for local communities. And with population growth, rapid urbanization, and economic development, the problem of municipal waste is set to increase. The waste problem also has a social impact. Waste pickers sort through the refuse to collect and recycle as much of it as they can. But their working conditions are often dangerous, and it's a precarious livelihood. To address all these aspects of the growing waste problem, the parties involved need to start treating waste as a resource. In 2004, ESCAP started looking for new environmentally sound approaches that would help the poor and be self-financing in the long run. A model developed by an NGO in Bangladesh was singled out as one possible approach. Waste Concerns set up a model of decentralized neighborhood-based compost plants. The strategy is working well in several towns in Bangladesh, and ESCAP, Waste Concern, and local partners have successfully replicated it in other towns and cities in the region. The integrated resource recovery centers are focused on organic waste which makes up 60 to 80 percent of municipal waste in developing Asian countries. The approach works with homes and businesses in the community to encourage them to sort their waste at source. The organic waste is sorted again at the centers and put into a compost plant where it takes around 90 days to turn into high quality compost which is then sold to farmers. The new centers in Cambodia, Sri Lanka, and Vietnam have also added recycling facilities, earning them a bit of extra money and further reducing the amount of waste left to go to landfill. A single center can process between 2 and 20 tons of waste a day, serving a population of 1,000 to 50,000 people, turning 80 to 90 percent of waste into resources, and leaving only 10 to 20 percent left for the landfill. This approach to urban waste management combines environmental and social benefits with an emphasis on creating a sustainable business model. The plants use simple, local technology, which keeps the cost of building and operating them low. Local authorities also save money by reducing the amount of waste they have to transport to expensive landfills. And the integrated resource recovery centers do more than just save money. Thanks to the revenues from selling compost and recyclables, they cover their operating costs and have the potential to make a profit. Furthermore, the compost plants were designed using a methodology that is approved by the UN's climate change framework. This means that it could qualify as a clean development mechanism project under the Kyoto Protocol, which in turn would allow it to sell carbon credits and increase revenues for the centers. Managing waste better reduces the amount of pollution released into the air, land, and water. The improved resource recovery, recycling as much as possible and composting, reduces the amount of fresh resources that industries have to use and the amount of methane emitted from landfills, which decreases the carbon footprint and benefits the planet. The local communities are included in the process and given training on how to separate and dispose of their waste, encouraging citywide commitment to managing waste and keeping cities clean. 
The centers also hire the waste pickers, who mostly work in the informal sector, giving them a steady income and improved working conditions. If we look at waste as a problem, it is very difficult to solve and manage it. But if you look at waste as a resource at the first place, you can solve the problem at the very beginning and it is less expensive and easy to solve for the cities.